Okay, so let's continue more hypothesis or example. So, a random sample of 50 medical school applicants at a university has a mean raw score of 31 with a standard deviation of 2.5 on the multiple choice portion of the medical school or medical college admissions test. A student says the mean raw score for the school's applicant is more than 30. So, alpha equal to 0.01. Is there enough evidence to support the student's claim? So we are using p-value this time too. Okay. So whenever we set up the hypothesis test, we always have to find out whether this statement represents one-tail test or two-tail test. So the how to determine that one-tail or two-tail. So if you keep on watching my video, then you may notice that what you have to find out but if you watch this video for the first time, okay, one tail case always include inequality threads such as less than, more than, or at least, and most, something like this. If you see this kind of threads, it's always one tail. Otherwise, you can conclude a two tail test. Then, do you see any inequality threads here? Yes, here more than 30 so that represent it is one tail test so based on that now we can set up one tail hypothesis setting so more than means right side direction so h a becomes u is more than 30 then h o become u is less than or equal to 30 and this is declared here okay now, as you see, HA goes to right side again, so it becomes right tail test. Okay, then let's analyze this hypothesis test. So first of all, I'm going to collect all known data set. So a random sample of 50, so become n equal to 50 and so mean raw score which is x bar equal to 31 and standard deviation s equal to sigma because n is bigger than 30 so we always assume s equal to sigma which is equal to 2.5 and then given rfi equal to 0.01 okay then let's find out p value using z formula so z equal to x bar minus mu over sigma over root to n so this becomes 31 minus 30 over 2.5 over square root 50 so if you calculate this one then you will get the z score to 2.8284 something so we round 2.8 a3 because z table usually share until 100 digit okay then let's look at z table 2.83 which is 0.9976 okay so we got this value become 0.9976 okay so i will double check so 2.8 a3 so 0.99 actually 0.9977 sorry 0.9977 so come 77 here but now we have to look really carefully because when we drew the normal table here and then we get the z score which is 2.83 here okay now, then now we need to know what this value represent this value indicate area for this area or this area so based on this z table this value means the cumulative area from the left side here okay 
So this one indicate all this area. Okay? But this is a right tail test, which means we want to find out this side area. Okay, then how to find area value for this side? Yes, you have to subtract this from the 1. Okay, so we subtract that from the 1 there. So 1 minus 0 0.9977. Then you will get 0 0.0023 here. Okay, that will be your p-value. So again, the reason we are subtracting this value from the 1 because this value represents the cumulative area from left side to until here. Okay? Therefore, finding right side area, you have to subtract that from the 1. That's why we got this is our p value 0 0.0023. And then what was our alpha value? Alpha equal to 0 0.01 here. Now, which one is greater? Yes. Alpha is greater. Whenever alpha is greater, then what do we conclude? Yes, we reset H O, right? Okay, then now where was the claim here? Yeah, claim was H A. Okay, then let's go back to the table which we always say. So claim is on H O. I mean A sorry H A. And then we reject H O, which means there is enough evidence to support the claim. Therefore, this question answer become there is enough evidence to support a claim. So that's the answer for this problem.